Solving systems by graphing equations in slope-intercept form. What is a system of equations? A system of equations is at least two equations with the same variables. And here is a graph of a system of equations. One equation is represented by a blue line and another represented by a red line. And this point where the two lines intersect is the solution to this system of equations. The four major methods of solving systems of equations are by substitution, elimination, graphing, and by matrices. In this lesson we're going to focus in on solving systems by graphing, and specifically with the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition Graphing Calculator. And all their methods will jettison in the trash can because that's where they belong. Uh, about the trash can I was just kidding. I have links here on the right to videos showing these other three great methods of finding solutions to systems of equations. Let's look at this system of equations, the equations represented by the blue line and the green line. The solution to this system is this point of intersection between these two lines. And we can say that the solution is defined by the coordinate pair negative 1 comma negative 5. Let's take a look at this system of equations, the equation y equals 3x minus 2 and y equals negative x minus 6. Press the key at the upper left, the key that says y equals to access the function editor. And here is the function editor. First we enter the equation y equals 3x minus 2. Then we enter the second equation y equals negative x minus 6. Be sure to enter the negative sign in front of the x and make sure to enter the minus sign between the x and the 6. It's easy to mix these negative and minus signs up and get a bad result. Press graph. We see the two functions graphed. Press the second key. Press the zoom key to access the format menu. You can choose the grid on option on the third line by going to grid on and pressing enter. Press graph. Press the second key. Press the trace key to access the calc menu. Press the 5 key to access intersect. Press enter. Press enter again. And press enter one last time. We see our solution to the system of equations at the point negative 1 comma negative 5. Now we have this system of equations. Line 1 is y equals 5x minus 1. And line 2 is y equals 3x plus 12. To start on this system, we go to the function editor by pressing the y equals key, then enter the two functions in the function editor. Next, press the graph key. Press the second key. Press the trace key that accesses the calc menu. Press the number 5 key to access the fifth item in the calc menu intersect. Press enter the first time. Press enter the second time. Press enter one last time. We see the solution, x equals 6.5 and y equals 31.5 at the bottom of the view screen. We see the solution even though we don't see the intersection on the view screen. To see the intersection, we can change the window setting. Press the window function key, change y max from 10 to 35 to be able to see the intersection. Press graph. Now we see the intersection and we can press second trace 5 enter 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 and we have the intersection again and this time we're able to see that intersection. Now we'll look at this system of equations y equals 1 half x plus 12 and y equals negative x minus 6. Press the y equals key to access the function editor. Enter the functions into the function editor. Press the zoom button Press 6 for Zoom Standard. This setting, Zoom Standard, always gets you back to a standard view screen no matter where you've been. Press the second key. Press the trace key to access the calc menu. Press 5 for option 5 in the calc menu, which is intersect. Press enter for the first time. Press enter the second time. And press enter one last time. We get this error message, no sign change, after going through the process of finding the intersection. Why are we getting this error message? We are getting this error message because the intersection takes place outside the field of our view screen. If the intersection happens to the right or to the left of the field of view screen, we will get this error message. In this case, 
the intersection is to the left of the view screen and we can see at the left of the view screen where the lines look like they're almost joined together. The intersection lines must occur between X min and X max values shown here in the window view. Uh, the item that needs to be changed is this minimum X value, negative 10. We change the minimum X value to negative 20 from negative 10. Press graph. Uh, we f see the intersection, the two lines intersecting. Now we can find the intersection by pressing second, trace, five, enter, enter, enter. And we see the intersection at X equals negative 12 and Y equals 6. Let's look at one last system of equations, y equals x plus 1 and y equals 2x. I now invite the viewer to pause the video, solve this system of equations by graphing, then restart the video to see how you did. Here are the equations are graphed and the intersection of the two equations shown. And at the bottom of the view screen, the x and y coordinates are shown. Now, a summary. First, Put the equations into f the function editor by going to y equals and entering the equations. And then find the intersection by pressing the keys second, trace, five, enter, enter, enter. And be sure after you press each button to allow time for the calculator to do everything it needs to do. It'll go pretty quickly, but if you just press them quickly and sweet, you may get an error message and then your calculator frozen. This has been Solving Systems by Graphing Equations in Slope-Intercept Form. Thanks for viewing.